Hello everyone, Charles here with Pinups and Needles. Uh, today I want to cover bumpy or itchy tattoos, okay? And what you can do to help with that. Uh, today I had a client reach out, and throughout my uh, tattooing career I've had multiple people reach out, uh, not only clients, but just the, the average person that has tattoos, and also tattoo other tattoo artists. So um, <clears throat> there's a couple portions to this, okay? And I'm gonna go from, um, you know, kind of the basic side of things to extreme things that can happen, okay? So let's start with one thing that it more than likely is not, okay? Uh, the the client that reached out to me today, uh, she has this beautiful tattoo. It is already fully healed, okay? So this is not a fresh tattoo, all right? Please keep that in mind. Uh, I can create a separate video that covers um, <clears throat> tattoos during the healing process if that were to happen, okay? So I'm strictly focusing on healed tattoos right now. Um, she recently went to Florida and her tattoo is uh, kind of breaking out. It's very bumpy and it's very itchy, okay? So two main things come to mind when I hear something like that with a heel tattoo. First of all, and this is probably not the case, okay? Some people are allergic to certain inks. More than likely, you are going to experience an issue during the healing process, not after. But it can happen. It is rare, but it can happen. So I still want to address it. Usually, if if it is an allergic reaction, it's going to be to the color red or yellow. Red being the most prominent. But if that is the case, and it it is... Let's say it happens on a regular basis after the tattoo is healed, that you're breaking out and this is an issue, okay? I would recommend seeking medical advice and the potential of removing the tattoo, okay? This is extreme, all right? This is not the norm, um, but I still want to bring it up because it is potentially an issue, okay? Or a, potentially uh, what it could be, all right? More than likely what it is, especially with this client that reached out to me today, is a uh, change in the weather condition, okay? Uh, I personally have had um, issues with my tattoos uh, throughout my entire life, okay? Um, not in the healing process necessarily, not as a general rule of thumb, but every now and then I get these little bumps that kind of come up and like, oh, that's weird, oh, that's itchy. One, don't itch it, all right? Leave it be. I know it's it's one of those things, it's human nature, all right? So don't mess with it, all right? More than likely what's happening here, uh, she let me know she went to Florida uh, for a couple weeks, and we live in northern Michigan, all right? Even though this has been a very uh, easy winter for us and uh, not that cold, um, it is still cold, all right? And it is still a, a harsh weather change going from dry cold to hot and humid, okay? Any time that you have that change from dry to humid or humid to dry, that is more than likely um, what, if you're experiencing those bumps or itchiness on, on areas that you have tattooed, that's more than likely what that is, okay? So what you can do, one, like I said, don't itch it. The more that you mess with that area, the more pissed off it's going to get and the longer it's going to take to heal, okay? Um, it's or, or not even heal, go away, all right? <clears throat> it is <clears throat> going to be an inconvenience for a little while, all right? So you can do a few different things, okay? <clears throat> uh, in our shop, we have... Uh, pure rose hydrosol. It's a rose water um, and it is not like a lot of the rose waters that you buy from the store, okay? Like I said, this is pure rose hydrosol directly from the rose itself. You can take it. Um, we have a sprayer, uh, a spray 
without aversion, spray the area. That's going to probably give you some instant relief and um, make those little bumps go away a little quicker and make you not want to or not feel need to itch it as much. Okay, so you can do that. Um, that would be my top recommendation. My second after that is using something like, um, like in our shop, we have Protect Your Ink. It is an all-natural after aftercare self. We make it in-house just like the rose water. It's, it's some really powerful, awesome healing stuff, okay? It's going to hydrate that skin. Um, just a real fine little layer of it, okay? You still want your skin to be able to breathe, and um, it's mainly just to kind of get rid of that itching for you okay um, and heal it up a little bit quicker rose water though if you've got that that's the top one okay um, you can also take a little bit of aquifer um, definitely thin little layer okay another thing that you can do you can take some benadryl take an antihistamine um, you can use a lotion but just be aware of what's in it because a lot of lotions have extra things in them. Sometimes those things can irritate our skin, especially when our skin is already irritated. Okay, so just keep the area kind of hydrated, but don't overhydrate, okay? Because then you're, you're going to run into more issues, okay? Like I said, humidity adds to this as well, okay? So just try and find that kind of happy medium stick to some all natural all organic stuff uh, versus a lot of the things that you can buy in the store that have you know additives to them okay um, <clears throat> read the ingredients if you don't know what an ingredient is look it up okay um, and that's really kind of it when you get out of the shower um, or any time that your skin becomes saturated, make sure you fully dry it before you apply anything to it, such as the rose water, the lotion, or a healing salve, okay? If you don't ensure that it's dry before you, you put any of those things on your skin, then you're more than likely not going to have relief, okay? Um, because that saturation is kind of the equivalent of humidity okay so try and find the heavy medium like i said top rose water second protect your ink third aquifer fourth some type of of lotion or or salve that is all natural um benadryl antihistamine things like that that is all going to help okay um let me know if you have any questions, concerns, or if you have experienced experiences yourself and you found something that works for you. Okay, that's kind of about it. I'll see you guys soon.